For example, electricity companies in some countries charge a high price for the first so many kilowatts. This is the amount of electricity that would typically be used for lighting and running electrical appliances. In other words, the uses for which there is no substitute fuel. Additional kilowatts are charged at a much lower rate. This is the electricity that is typically used for heating or cooking where there are alternative fuels like kerosene. So in this case, the MR gradient is, as usual, twice of AR, which is the demand curve. The additional revenue gained by the monopoly is equal to the loss of consumer surplus. Notice that this form of price discrimination does not take away the entire consumer surplus, though it does take away a significant portion. As you may have realized, this is the second degree price discrimination is particularly widespread in sales to industrial customers where bulk buyers enjoy higher discounts. A more familiar example would be the quantity discounts given to tour groups when they book air tickets in bulk. The ultimate purpose is to allow the supply to set different prices to the different groups and capture a larger portion of the total market surplus.